Hello, U.S. Uh, Eagle Congress participants. This is In Song Huang Eitan uh, from Korea. I uh, live in uh, France. Uh, this is my third time, first lecture I had it, and this is uh, what is it? Uh, uh, live commentary, and this is the second lecture. In the first lecture, I spoke about the theme, you know, how to gather the, the techniques what you have. And today, what we are going to study is one one technique. But I suppose you haven't heard this technique so far, only you know, unless you are my student. I found one pattern in some techniques, so I'm going to share it. And the uh, specific topic is hidden, uh, because it's you know more interesting to discover uh, during the lesson. So this was the position. You want to attack the right side wise group, then where would you play as black? That was the first question. So think about it. Uh, and we're going to the second case. Uh, that is uh, white's turn. Okay, look at the upper side. Uh, that black group on the upper side, this, let's say, A, isn't really uh, perfectly safe yet, is it? So if you're white, where would you play? To yeah, attack or maybe get, get this? Uh -huh. get, get the better situation than the normal way? Uh -huh. So think about it. Uh, and the third one um, is this one. That's more difficult because you need to find a couple of uh, moves. But look at the lower side, why is this A group? That is definitely weak. Right? So how to, how to attack this? Maybe it does look okay to attack, but in fact, it's not easy. So I'm not going to share the answers yet. I'm going to show some of my games because it happened in the games many times. So I already had a feeling, but I couldn't define what exactly I need to tell, even though there is something that I feel that I can tell. So that's why I couldn't. So let me show you once again, this one, how to attack the right side wise group as black. And this one, look at the upper side, wise turn. How should I handle this black group? And this one, uh, the A group, the bottom side that is weak, so maybe there is a way to attack. Okay. Uh, yes, that some are come from uh, my students' games, and some are from this one. These three examples are from my uh, pupils' games. Okay. Anyway, let's skip to this one. This is my game. I played against the European top level players. Uh, I was white, uh, and my opponent played this one, the shoulder light. It looks good, is it? So when black plays this one, yeah, white feels quite you know, annoyed, because without this, let's say white had a chance to play an additional move like this, then it would be perfect that I can make lots of points. Huh? But instead, my opponent, unfortunately, it was my opponent's turn, so he played this one. Can you guess how I reacted? I pushed this one upon an extent, and I end here. My opponent had to make the connection and pushed. My opponent had to jump to make the connection and push here again. Then Black need an answer. But how should Black answer now? Actually, game Black answered here, so I had a chance to extend once more. So now we see that when Black plays this one, Black had uh, a great plan, but all of a sudden, Black made this form, which is called the dump four. Okay. This is you know, one of the most inefficient shapes in Go, that who plays that four and make you know, the shape uglier? Okay. There's no point, and it's just there are many of you know, useless stones, right? So that happened. And there was a technique that I used it, so we're going to check it together later. And this is the game that I played against uh, Korean Insei. I went back to Korea a couple of months uh, last year and studied in the dojo, uh, one of the, the biggest dojos in Korea. And uh, I played many games against uh, the Korean Yongsengs. And you know the Nakamura Sumide? She's now kind of famous. She become, you know, became a pro in Japan. Uh, but at the time, she was not. And uh, yeah, she was there too. So it's uh, anyway uh, one of the, the biggest dojo, and this is my game. I was black. Mm -hmm. I played uh, this one to attack, 
my opponent attach it once and then jump uh, like this. You know, quite nice shape that white flies away. So, you know, when white jumps here, it's not easy to attack, is it? Because white is already, you know, like a butterfly, it just goes away. However, uh, one move I played and my opponent uh, had the, uh, you know, the third with my move, which was uh, this one that I push here. How to answer if black pushes this? Well, I need to block, is it? But then black can extend. You can have the similar feeling as the, the last one, is it? Then why need to connect? Then black has a chance to make the connection underneath, like this or even this one. So white's group is now floating. If it is not exchanged, that black just jumps, jumps like this, then uh, it looks not easy. Why well, can't maybe push once and go like this? Then uh, it looks white's group is fine and black is cut. Uh, I cannot make the connection underneath. But after black's this pushing move, white uh, had to answer like this and black had a chance to make the connection. The last one, if you can find this, then maybe you can find uh, the topic uh, of this technique. Uh, I was black, my opponent blocked it. Uh, before that, the last move I played was this one. I played here to aim the cutting point and my opponent blocked to answer in a more you know, efficient way. Uh, after here, how should black handle? Uh, maybe it is a bit difficult to, to know. So black pushes this one, white uh, had to answer, and I cut, white connect, and the next one, you need to find uh, the move. Maybe at this point, I think uh, many of you can find it. It's quite tempting to cut, is it? But if black cuts here, then white can answer, and there will be a weakness at the outside. So black need an additional move to save this then why can't take sente like that? However, uh, instead of this one, if black plays, yes, I think uh, many of you guessed uh, the one. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, black pushes this one. So if black plays this L2, how should white uh, react it? The first move must be this one that white blocks. Then black pushes this one. After this exchange, black answers in the same way, like, uh, like the situation before, okay? that black just cuts and black answers this one. But after black answers this, white had a chance to take sente, like this one. But in this position, black plays an extent. Then the lower side white group is not perfectly safe yet. So we need to play an additional move like this. Then black gonna take sente. Okay? There is a difference. So my opponent, who is seven down, one of the top uh, European players, couldn't block because this cut is so painful. So instead, my opponent had to play this one and I extend to let white connect. So made another dump for shape. So you can make your you know, strong opponent as like a you know, dump shape. So quite nice skill. So what is the, the topic? Maybe you. Some of you can guess the, the name of the, the lecture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're getting hungry. Okay. Dumplings, so you should make the dumplings. This time, it's the time that we should make the dumplings. Forcing happiness, uh, that's, yeah, sort of, but how exactly? I mean, there should be a skill to make it. So basically, it is the skill to make your opponent's shape uglier, make opponent's shape in a dumpling. <laughs> okay. So we should go back to the, the first moment. Actual game, it's one of my you know, pupil's games. My pupil played this one. White connects it. Okay, it looks like a good one to make white shape you know, ugly. But when black plays here, white had to white had a chance to push. When black attaches, white had a chance to play harness. So there was no good continuation. So white can easily you know, escape. And black's that two stone is floating, so it's even weaker, right? But instead, the right move here was this one. Mm -hmm. This. 
It's nothing special, but there is something uh, we can learn it. If black line is here, what is uh, aiming? You can easily see that black is looking for this cut. Okay? So why need an answer? So let's say white answers this. Then compared to this position that black had, we can see that black one stone is moved to this direction and can even block it. If black blocks like this, then it's well blocked. So that white screw is not perfectly safe yet. So there could be a chance to attack it. One more, then we're, we're going to see it. Uh, look at the upper side. This white group was in danger. If you just play the diagonal move, then black gonna block it. And you need to spend one more move for surrounding this group and black can easily save it. So instead, let's say you come like this one, let's hit it. Then your opponent gonna block it. And there's no good continuation. Black can answer. If I answer, black can easily save it. It's already safe, so it's alive. So instead, what we should do is this one. That is the skill. If black takes it, tries to take it, then white extend. Black plays this one, and white cuts. Oh, black is dead. It's surrounded and cannot save the group inside. Okay. All of a sudden. So black maybe need to connect, and white cuts and block. So there will be a death as well. So instead, black doesn't cut here. OK, you're strong, so I step back. Then still, white can surround it okay. So this one. Uh-huh, H18. Yes, that one. So wrong tone, you should know, because you are one of my students. Uh, that one, OK. Uh, can you find the connection between these two? This one and uh, this one. Mm -hmm. And one more. Uh -huh. One more. This was the one. Uh, here's the thing. Now, let me just go it. Go for it. Uh, this move is the move that you play point A, point B, and force your opponent to play the point C. Okay? It's like 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 clamp or you know uh, squeeze, uh -huh. squeezing your opponent in this way. In which way? What kind of you know, position is this, the position this too. What is your, uh, uh, what's the, the name of this sort of, you know, movement in Go, what do we say? Elephants, is it? Elephant's eye, you know, move, is it? It's called elephant's eye. Knight's move or one space jump, large knight move, you know, or Kosumi, this is elephant's eye, is it? Elephant's eye way. So it doesn't mean that you play here to kill something. Uh, sometimes you can, but basically you play this A, B, two points and force your opponent to answer. If your opponent says that, no, I don't want to answer back like that, then you can push and block. Then at some point your opponent need to answer there anyway, because there is, you know, it's quite severe. Okay? So eventually you play A, B, two points and let your opponent play this C point. That is the skill. That is just a simple skill, but that makes lots of, you know, tons of similar skills. Okay? So it's let's call this as the elephant's eye technique, elephant's eye squeeze, elephant's eye clamp. You, you will see. This one too, now you see that uh, where uh, white plate, white plate this one, is it? A and B, and forcing to, uh -huh, uh, and uh, forcing, uh, this one, so asking black to answer here. Of course, black does not answer, but this AB is the way to attack this C to make this as the full side. Okay? Why play here? Therefore, black has no eye space there, right? And uh, or there will be a weakness that white could cut like this one. Okay? That's why it is working. And uh, this problem, I made it, and I let you focus on the upper side. This. Upper, upper side happening was uh, when uh, this exactly happened in my previous game, but I added a bit and made the second situation. Can you find the second situation? Mm -hmm. There's one more place that why can play exactly the same technique uh, around this board. Just pointing out. Close, but not that one. Uh -huh. 
So you try to find the similar move, but uh, you did not put the two points, A and B, elephant's eye point, which is N2, yes. Not M2, because there's no, uh, maybe you want to have this A, B connection, but no, not that. Uh, it's better to play here, which is this A, B. You play A, B and force your opponent to play C. And if your opponent doesn't play C, oh no, I don't want to play, then you can take it. That's you know, big damage, right? So black need to answer here, then why can make the connection? You may say that why not just play Hane and Hane? Possible. We can play Hane, Hane to take these two stones, but it is not as good as the other one because here black has an eye space, but the other one, in this case, black doesn't have an eye space or the other as well. So it's a lot better. Okay. So here you play A, B, the two points, and let your opponent play C in between. That is the way. A left hand side technique. And this one, uh, the A group is weak. So, how should Black attack this? Lower side group is weak. If Black tries to, to attack something like this one, cover, then Y can push here first to make the strong connection and will easily escape, like this one. A bit. So, first, you need to play this one. It would be great if you can cut it directly. But why can push and make the connection like this or block? Then uh, it'll be difficult to kill this group. Therefore, bring it to play here. Okay. This is quite usual move that you guys already know it, huh? but still it is same. You play A, B and force your opponent to play where she, okay? this one. So your opponent need to play this move and how to continue. This elephant's eye technique comes in a various way. And I just showed one way. What is the, the second way? J5. J5 is not the one. I5. L5, I suppose. A3, no. If black tries to cut it right away, uh, I can exchange and go. So it must be difficult to surround it. So the good move here after this one, now K7, this one, black plays here. And that is a bit different. Uh, in the past, we played A, B, and let white play C, is it? But this case is a bit different that uh, A is already there, but you play B and C to clamp. Is it? Uh, usually, you know, the clamp comes in uh, this way. This is the human's clamp. That you want to you want to clamp, then you play like this one, is it? But elephants, they are big, right? So maybe they or they think that this is clamp that they they touch it. Right? In fact, it is not really touch it yet, but maybe in elephants' point of view, it's you know touch it. So anyway, black plays here. What to do? You make the clamp of this a stone in this way. If I goes out here, then black gonna cut it. Now we can see the difference. Why can exchange is something like that, but still black can surround it. So white is in trouble. So what else? Why need to play maybe this one, I said, to solve this problem. Then maybe you can exchange this to make your opponent shape again as the dump four, dumpling shape, and extend. Then where can white go? White would go to black's land and then, you know, swing, uh, Swimming there, and you can just kill it later. So that's why uh, that is working. Uh, what if I does uh, M6? This one, then black on a connect. So, okay, white may say that, okay, here I come and do the elephant's eye technique, but it's okay, possibly not working all the time. <laughs> okay, so you can see it's like a combination. Black bent here to force white to play this one and play here to clamp that uh, stone with the elephant's way and attack it. That's the combination. And we're going to see you know, various ways and getting close to this one. Uh, okay, that one is the type that I shared. Uh -huh. So here too, you can see I play this one, A, B, 
to force my opponent to play this C. Right? That was the, uh, the skill uh, that how you can get mm, this shape and make your opponent shape uglier. And this one too, I played here like this and play this one to force my opponent to play C. That's why my opponent had to play that ugly you know, shape. And the third one as well, when I played this one, push, push, you can see that A, B, so make this C as the uh, four side. That's why it was quite tough for white handed it. So let's keep moving. I wrote thousands, you know, variations. Uh, this black screw up, a white screw up, you're black, how would you attack it? There should be many ways to attack, but let me start with this one. Let's say you're black, you already played this and your opponent jumped it, then how should black uh, handle this after taking this jump? B3 is not the one, is it? F3 is the one, is it? Black should play here. Uh, if you play G3, white connects and white, you know, solves white's problem, and you need to solve your problem so white can easily escape, right? So black need to play this one, so that is the move that you force uh, that group with A, B, C and squeezing it. Right? A, B are squeezing and force white to play this C part. Okay? So simple skill. You play A and B. You, you take, uh, you occupy the A and B spot and let your opponent play. It doesn't mean that you should block your opponent's play. You should just play A, B and yeah, go ahead like this. That is the, the skill to make your opponent shape earlier. Okay, so we studied, uh, you already have this idea, right? But let's keep going. Uh, white covered and black jumped to avoid uh, the rounding. How should white handle this black screw? Mm -hmm. Great. Huh? So I can get the answers more quickly, uh, uh, but I brought this one for those who uh, are, you know, struggling on finding the, the right move. In this position, if it is white's turn, where should white go? Things become much simpler. This was the case that I gave, but I added, uh, added to make things easier. In this position, white should play this one. Okay? That push must be so painful. That white pushes here, A, B, and force a black to connect. If black connects, then black can save it, but the, the base is broken and black should just, you know, floating and hanging around. So that is quite painful. So in this position as well, if I play here, black can block to set up the base a bit. It's narrow, but anyway, still there's something. But instead, if I place this one, then this is the move that white is forcing. I play this AB, you need to play C. If you do not play there, then yeah, I will get it like this. Black may take this one, but white can cut it. So this must be a huge damage because upper side is getting bigger. So in case black steps back, then white can take this. So black turns as the baseless group. While black says that no, I want to answer in a more efficient way. You know, the tiger mouse. Then you can just answer because eventually later you're gonna exchange this and make this shape uglier anyway. And it's even better for white because white gets you know much solider on the upper side and or on the left side. That is the one. So we're going to see more cases like that, uh, so you can get used to it. In fact, we already know this. Huh? In the double approach position, if black goes out, white comes to the corner. And if black covers, where should white play? If you're the strong Q or down level player, maybe you know how to continue. Okay. Why should? White may just jump like that, but before that, there is a one, uh, there is one uh, good exchange that you can make it, which is yeah, this one. Why should play this move? to let black connect, then you may tenuki, you may play hane, you may jump later. That exchange is a very good exchange for one. So this one, same. White plays this AB and let black uh, 
play this point C, which makes the black shame uglier. If black doesn't, let's say, oh, I want to block in this way because it's tiger mouse, and you can play Hane and uh, make the connection underneath, so it's even better. And the lower side as well, let's say white plays Hane, uh, like this one, and Tenuki, then you know this shape. This is quite famous shape. That I'm sure that everyone in this room can find this one. Basically, it is the same idea, that you know that it is the vital point to make white shape uglier, is it? To play A, B, and forcing your opponent to connect C, like this. Let's keep moving. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is also one of my pupils' games. Uh, look at the lower side wise group, lower side. It's open area, uh, why it is in open area, but it's not secured yet, not 100%. Can you attack this? Actual game, what Black played was this one. It's because Black thought that Black was leading the game. Black just exchange it and collect the point on the left side, and let white just completely save the group. However, instead of this one, black could have played the move, which makes white shape uglier or you know, broken. Mm -hmm. That is this one, yes, J6. That's the vital point. So can you feel that this is the vital point with your first uh, intuition? That it means that you already have this intuition, but maybe couldn't define it. Yeah. If black plays here, then it's looking for the cut. Right? So it's the move A, B, right? and force white to answer here. White need to maybe block here, then black plays Hane. So quite uh, annoying. Right? So I gave many simple cases, but if this happens in your game, then two detect this one right away. Ah, because it's, you know, A, B, I force my opponent to play C. That's not easy, right? No. That is, it comes out of sudden. So if you are well prepared, you can find it. So like this one, it's that much easy. But in this case, it, to find this one, it looks similar, but it is not as easy as this one. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, I will give you some other cases how you can use this uh, elephant's eye technique. There is one stone on the top. How would you attack? What's the, the proper way to attack this one stone? When I was young, it was quite difficult to understand the meaning of this move. But at some point, I understood the meaning and played a lot which is cap, is it? So if you already know the cap, it means that you are a you know, strong goal player, is it? Black play is this one, is it? Black caps. But when I was you know, Q player, I couldn't understand that why, because why can cut and go out? And I you know, feel so bad about it because I cannot make the territory and my opponent tear the connection, so it's bad. But that is exactly, the one that we know it, is it? Black already played A and B, two points, to let white play C. Even though white cut this one, we know that it is not really a good shape. Black can attack like this, so white can go a few steps, but still, black can surround. It. And black can at least get nice thickness at the outside. And now, let's say white plays this one, then where would you play? White thinks that, okay, it's not possible to move uh, on that side. So instead, where should white go? Yeah, here, age 17, right? Black plays this one. Uh, in this case, black may play here directly because black can even look for this one to cut it. Right? So this, this is also A, B. That is quite annoying point. Black may push here too. Right? Push, if white blocks, black can surround. So why need to extend? but black plays this one, right? then it's even more ugly, right? even more ugly. I would say that push is even better. Okay, uh, let's keep moving. Ah, and the lower side, look at the lower side three stones then. You have these three stones. How would you, how would you attack this? The, the user way is like jumping, is it? And let Y go. 
Well, you can play knight mook, okay? then why play and escape like this one? It looks like the natural way to escape, but you already know the theme and you're looking for finding that theme, okay? So you can find it. Okay? That's the reason why I hide the theme uh, the first like 20 minutes, because if I already share that, then often people just focus on finding that. Maybe you also, uh, now you do it like that, but please try to understand the meaning. Then I'm sure that you can use it in the right timing and can make your opponent shape ugly. Black can play this one, J6. So that is also the same idea. Black plays this one and this one. The same idea, cap. Okay? So if black plays this one, you are white, where would you play? White attaches, white may attach, then black can cut. So you should be able to cut like this. For instance, uh, let's say white already had one exchange. Let's say like this one. What about playing here as black now? Ah, this is the you know elephant's eye technique. So what about this? I play this AB and force my opponent to connect. It's not good in this case because your opponent won't connect. Your opponent can play this tiger mouse and escape like this. So that is not good. So before you play here, you should check whether your opponent can play this one to make the tiger mouse. If I can make the tiger mouse, then in fact, it is quite good. So uh, you should be able to play this one if you want to play this elephant's eye technique. That is quite, you know, big shape for black. Okay? So I can still escape, but quite ugly. So. After here, if I doesn't want to play, why should play like this one? But you know, the shape is quite ugly. Right? So this AB, that the elephant size skill is not the skill to kill something directly or block your opponent's move uh, that your opponent cannot uh, play the C. It's exactly opposite that you just let your opponent play that. What is bad like this? If I goes out to this direction, in this knight move position, push extension is fine, but it's better to play this one. Like push and push, then white shape is even uglier. Okay? Compared to this one, we can see the difference. Your opponent need to make this empty triangle. So that push is the better way. There is a, there will be a chance to explain this one, but let's quickly move it. The lower side, white group is okay. And uh, it, this A group is not connected to B. So where would you play as black? Look for separating this group. You may just invade, or you can play like cover to let white make the connection underneath and you maybe feel happy that, okay, I press my groups down like this. But instead you can play this one. That one. That is the point, A and B. If I place this, then you know the shape is quite ugly. So that's already a good exchange. And if I attach this, you may watch to, to cut it. Because that wise group is pretty weak. That position is quite similar to the upper side. Look at this wise three stones. Normally in this position, it's wise turn and why need an answer, right? But let's say your opponent was busy, so couldn't answer in Tanuki then where do you play to attack in general? That's quite famous one, right? Where does black play? Black plays ah, J4, why? Why is it better than this one? Why people play here? Because if black plays, how should I move it? Why maybe need to push to go out, then black plays Hane. And why is in trouble? Because black play this A, B, and force Y to play this one. What if I plays Hane, you cut. What if I attach this and you cut? So I can play only like this one. Then, you know, the shape is quite ugly. So let's say white wants to play, uh, avoid this empty triangle situation, so goes here. And what to do? Black push ones. And black can play this one. Okay? That is the known technique, Tetsuji. 
that black plays a b and force y to play c. Again, this came. Okay? So it's like everywhere. So maybe that's the reason why I couldn't define it. Because it's everywhere and I couldn't find a connection how to, to handle this. Why need an answer? If I attach this once, maybe below, but still there is a weakness. There is a tari and capture, so there will be a trouble. So here too, if I place this six change and go out, same, black plays hane, A, B, and this C is being forced, okay? like this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's keep moving it. Uh, that one we can pass, so this is exactly the same. So here, black can play like that, but what if the situation oh, was not here, but white has one more stone? You see, there is one more stone at F6. If there is one more stone at F at F6, is this pincer a good move? In this position, this pincer is a very good move. But in this position, same move, is it? same move, but it is bad. Because why can't play this Atari to make this nice shape? So it's still possible, but I can jump and it's okay. But in general, well, before you play this, because it's not the super move. If it is super move, it'll be great. It's not working 100%. Uh, sometimes working, sometimes not working. So you should use it only in a working situation. So when you play this A and B point, your opponent should follow the C or make this C as the, the four psi position. Then you can make it. So please mind it. That one. Okay, look at this uh, position. Uh, let's say black plays here, white jumps and black tenuki. Then white plays this pincer, black goes out, then where should white play? What's the good way to uh, attack it? White may push here right away. Instead, it's better that white plays this one in this nice move way. It is like, a, you know, not the elephant's eye, it's like a you know, big uh, elephant's eye attack, is it? So if black goes out like this, then white push once and then play here, because then it can make the shape even uglier okay, for this one. And upper side as well, white up, uh, covers, black goes out, then how to attack? So if you see more cases like that, then you get used to it. Okay? Now you don't push this a16, but you push here first, okay? and then push here. And look at this pros game. This is the you know Chinese woman league, uh, which happened like a, a week ago or ten days ago. Black invade here. Why play this one? And black doesn't want to save the group inside, but black play this one therefore. And you guess where why played in the game? A push or B push? A15. <laughs> okay. Why well, should play B? Okay, that one. And if black naively extend, which pros doesn't do, then why can play here to uh, make this shape ugly? And you guess where does black answer here? What's the, the pro professional way to escape this? M5. That's good, but even better than that is this one. Like an attach here. That is, you know, quite interesting, is it? If I cut, which I need to, then black cut, like this. So black goes out in a better way. If I take this, then black can go like that, like a blossom shape. But uh, white extend, black extend. So uh, still, this is painful, but it makes the weakness. So when black plays like uh, A later, it would be quite annoying. Okay? So that was a good way to escape. Okay. Anyway, it's not the topic, but I just want to show uh, some interesting options. And there are three examples. Uh, one of them we already checked uh, in the first three uh, ways. Uh, why is upper side group, this, let's say, A group, is somehow weak, is it? Can you find the vital point? Where is it? 
the vital point. If you're the done player, then you can find the vital points right away. G18 is not uh, the right one, not the very right one. The right move is this one. This kind of technique is quite known, is it? Look at this H18 and look at the lower side, lower side group. Where does Blangy to play? Lower side. There is a very good uh, technique, which is H18 is the top one, but the bottom side one. J2, is it this one? So you can see the similar uh, idea of this and this. Is it? These are kind of, you know, you can feel that, ah, okay, there it should be a same function, right? But how to explain? What kind of move is this? So please name it. There is a name in Korea. We called the direct translation is like, okay, you place the stone in the middle. That is the way to explain. Okay. You place the stone in the middle. Middle means vital point. So it's like vital point, that's it. But it's a bit boring to just say, okay, vital point. Yay, I play the vital point and break my opponent's base, which is okay. But we can explain this, that ah, there was already point A, so I point, played point B to force my opponent to play C because your opponent need to play C, isn't it? Otherwise, you, you cut it. The fight uh, blocks it, then there will be a cut, right? So I need an answer, and black connects to destroy this area. And here, too, why blocks, black can play this one. What about uh, the right side one? Why shape is still, you know, not uh, OK. So black can play this one, okay? that one. The same. So look at this upper side. What if there was no stone? Then is this working? It's not working. Okay? And what if there was no stone? Then is this working? Not working. So that's why you need to have those stones to make it work. So it's not the move that Black does this. Uh, B does this himself. B needs A's help. Okay? So you need to know this connection, A and B that elephant size step to let your opponent to play this C. That is the, the idea. And some more, uh, upper side, like wise group is weak. So you may just play like this one to force it, then Y saves the group. And if black tries to do something here, then there will be a weakness in the corner. So it must be tough to do it. So instead of this one, what's the, the better idea? If you use the technique, yes, E18. That is quite known to Suji. So, okay, why is it working? If I block, then it's good. So why need to take it? Then black can block here to cut it, to take these three stones. Okay? So that is working. So here, A, B. If your opponent plays C, then there will be a huge trouble like this one, and the right side as well. You just play diagonal move, why gonna block, so why gonna have enough space to save it? So instead, you need to play uh, this one. So same, A and B, this one. And the uh, left side, left side, it looks why it is you know, well connected, isn't it? But it is not. Uh, Black can still make the connection, but uh, maybe black can just play here to let white block. Okay, fine, but it's not great. Instead, you can make it greater with this attach. Same, is it? A and B. If white blocks it, then you can jump to cut it. So your opponent need to step back or block once, but need to play this point C anyway. Okay? So that is working. And the lower right corner, you can easily go and find it because it's similar to the upper left one that black cannot touch here. So can extend to one of another like this or like this to get a lot of points in the corner. Mm -hmm. Okay, B6 was it? B6, yes, B6. So let's keep moving. Uh, that is a bit different. Uh, look at the upper right case, upper right, this A group, 
is this able to, uh, let's say white has some more stones like, uh, like here, okay, white is so strong. So it looks this A group is kind of dead. Is it? Do, you th do you think that you can save it? Yeah. Look at the upper right area first. In this case, there is only one way to save this group. Ah, black, there should be no stone, then, then it's working. Mm, not there. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. black can play this one. Okay. That one. It's like yeah, clamping mm, that uh, she stone. Okay. Black can play here. Uh, because if I just naively block uh, this one, then black can just cut it. It was not possible to cut like that easily, but it's working. So maybe I need to save this weakness. Then black plays this Atari and push. Therefore, white is dead with an you know, ugly shape. Right? And therefore, white connects black and play here too. So it's also that. So that is the only move to save it. Look at the upper left corner. Black's that four stone seems dead, but it is not dead because black can go down, connect, and black can play this one. Okay? This is the move A, B, C. At one. And the uh, lower right corner, uh, it looks black can just play Hane, or black can just play this exchange and Atari to stay with But it plays this Atari to keep it. Black has only one eye in the corner, so cannot save it. So instead of this one, black need to play. Black doesn't need to exchange, black can just play here. This is the move, which is same, like this one. And lower side, uh, this. Situation may came and may come in your games. Okay? Low left corner. What can black do? Can you find it with just one uh, site? As black, it looks white has nice territory, but there is something. Yes, she too. Okay. Black is clamping that uh, she is torn uh, like this. So if I place here, there will be a cut like this. So I need an answer, but black can play hard. Like that, there are you no know, tons of cases. Uh, that is the real game case, real game. Maybe I don't give any clue. Uh -huh. It's just black's turn. What should black do? Can you find it? Not easy, right? Black's turn. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not even find the right topic, but maybe, you know, now we have about you know, 200 people, so maybe one of you can find it. Yes, you found it, great. They can play here, very good. Uh, Black may play this exchange and play here, but it's, you know, less stylish, is it, first of all. Why connects, then can Black cut like this? No, why can take it? No. But if black doesn't exchange but play, play here first, then first it's more stylish. White, same, block it. Then you cut, same, but you can see the difference. There was an exchange, but no exchange, so black can attach here to cut it, to you know, set up the base of this floating group. So that black's move is the one. So it's connected. It's not just a case. It can really come in your games. So let's check this one as the last example. The things, just about an explanation. Uh, that was the actual game case. Uh, white's turn to attack, uh, white's turn to use this stone to attack the separated groups. But unfortunately, actual game, white extend to let black answer, jump to let black answer like this. So can you see the, the problem? Why play already two mistakes, two moves, two mistakes? Yeah. Instead, how should I handle this? First, why can play? Uh -huh. Yes, this one, is it? Why black can play? Why can play? Or was it? Instead of this one, why can play here? If I play this one, that is the vital point, A and B, and force black to answer. If black doesn't, 
then why can block it? That must be so painful. Therefore, like need to step back, then this must be so painful. Or already when I missed that uh, important point, why should not just jump to let black answer, but instead why should play this one? If I play here and force opponent to play she, then black may play she or not, then why can't even cut like this to fight? So if I had this move and go like this one, then it must be way more difficult. Okay, so the point is quite simple of this uh, leg jump. Uh, when you see opponent shapes, then please uh, think of this idea. It doesn't mean, it's not the very nice skill that you can kill something directly, but you play this point A and B and force your opponent to play C, which makes your opponent shape quite ugly. So you wanna make the dumplings, uh -huh. you, make the, you wanna make the dumplings in your games, then please use this elephant's eye clamp, uh, elephant's eye attack or squeeze technique to make your opponent's shape uglier, cook your opponent's thoughts. Okay, so that was the, the second lecture that I made for this e Congress. Still, I feel bad that I couldn't join the, the real Congress, uh, but you know, I hope uh, next year I can join it. And lastly, you know, I'm the uh, Go teacher, full-time Go teacher. I'm running my online Go school, which is called Yonggusang Dojang. It's Insei Dojo in you know Japanese term. Uh, you guess how many games I review every year? I mean, as a Go teacher, that okay, how many games? How many games you you check it? The pros games. I check. Uh, Amateur games, uh, 3,000. 3,000 games I check it. So I can find lots of examples because I see many games. So I'm you know, well experienced uh, teacher. Uh, and uh, in my go school, there are about, uh, in America, about 80 people from five down to 12 Q. So if you're in this zone, if you're the completely beginner, then I don't know what to tell. So Okay, five down to 12 Q, then please check out uh, my website. My the new season starts in the 7th of September and slots are already, uh, uh, okay, quickly, you know, filled up and it's over the limited one, but Mark Lee, you know, I hired, you know, Mark Lee and he start uh, the online reviews. So with his help, I can extend it. So it's already, over the limit, but you can still join in. Then I review your games personally, like this one, and you can learn many new things uh, during the, the lecture. There will be nine lectures per season, so it would be great. This was the second best lecture of this season, the last season that uh, I made the survey. I was, it's not the first one, it's the second best. So. Uh, since you can learn many things, right? And I already have, you know, the library. So if you join, then you can uh, watch lots of lectures. So it would be great. So if you want to study in a serious way, then it will be my school uh, to join. Where, where I teach, uh, there will be, you know, link. There should be somewhere. <laughs> I hope uh, some of you shares it. What was the first one? First one should be uh, on the you know Twitch, so you can check it. Anyway, thank you for coming, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this e congress, and I hope you join until the end of the congress. Still, we left you know some programs. See you. Bye bye.